the one LEGO set to rule them all. Today, LEGO is officially revealing the Lord of the Rings Rivendell. And we actually have the pleasure of having a copy of the set here in the studio early for reveal and review. Thank you so much, Land, for the opportunity. This is amazing. So at this particular point, I don't know what the actual set is, and this is my official reaction video right here. And let me tell you, I was pretty blown away. Like, this thing is huge. It has over 6,000 pieces, and it's going to be available starting on March 5th here in 2023. So pretty amazing to have one of these in the studio. Let's take a look at all of the official information and images. The box art is pretty nice. I mean, it's in the icons packaging, which is like the 18 plus style packaging. In the bottom right corner here, it says Lord of the Rings. It's got that beautiful logo there. 6,167 pieces, 10316 is the official set number. At first glance though, this thing looks really good. Rivendell at its finest. Now it has a massive piece count, so obviously the price is pretty big as well. 500 US dollars. Not cheap, but once again, over 6,000 pieces and a huge amount of minifigures as well. All of those minifigures can be seen on the top of the box here. 15 figures, that's good that they're gonna give us a lot of figures for this set, right? Because it's like minifig scale details. So it's awesome that these figures are gonna be able to interact with all of those details found within this set. If you weren't able to make out all the characters, I do have a list of all the names and the official images. I'll drop those later on in this video. On the side of the box, we got the Lego logo, the Lord of the Rings logo, and also a different angle of the Rivendell set. There's a small image on the back here that shows how this set can actually be broken into three different sections. You can also see the dimensions of it there. It is actually huge. You'll see in some lifestyle images later on in this video, it takes up like an entire table. So you're going to need a massive spot to display this in your Lego studio, in your house, wherever you're going to put it, because it's huge. The images don't really do justice for the size. Let's just say that. There's so much good detail, so many uh, like weapons and accessories that pair up beautifully with these characters, and then so many different iconic scenes are represented in this set. Like I said though, I've got some really high res images, so we're going to be able to see all of these awesome details that are depicted on the back here right now. So let's take a look at those. Why don't we start by having a look at the minifigures, because they're pretty epic. We get two dwarves, Glowin, and also Gimli. Gimli looks so sweet with his battle axes and his helm that's nicely printed there. Beauty. And then of course Arwen, Aragorn, Legolas, and Boromir. Just take a look at all their accessories too, they're awesome. And then all four hobbits, Frodo, Samwise, Merry, and that fool of a took. Oh man, and there's Bilbo with like his possessed face. Then we have Gandalf the Grey, Elrond, and then two additional elves. So yeah, pretty sweet figure lineup. And you know what? There's actually more minifigures because some of the statues in the set are figures. They look like this here. And you can see one of the statues right here in this iconic scene where you have Aragorn and also Boromir and then the shards of Narsil. It's like the broken sword that they reforge. Very cool. That's a sweet uh, weapon accessory there. And then there's more right here as well. Okay, that's enough about the minifigures. I think you get the point. There's a ton of minifigures in this set, so that's good. So the set is very detailed. It's packed full of iconic scenes and Easter eggs. And just the overall like architecture and part usage and colors just look really well done. Like there are just so many pieces that are jammed into this to make it look like pristine. It just looks incredible in my opinion. And you know what? It actually breaks down into three different sections. The first section consists of the council ring, which is iconic. Look at that. It's the fellowship of the ring, right? The nine companions set out on the journey. <laughs> I love these chairs right here. They use like the popsicles and also the sausages. I think this is a new plant element here as well. You'll see these all throughout this set. There are going to be some stickers in this set, but I think there's going to be some print pieces as well. I just love this floor right here. That's awesome. Of course, you've got the ring on the podium there. I don't know if Gimli's tried to smash it with his axe yet. I don't think so. However, I think he is right here. He's about to be like, ah, <laughs> smash the ring. <laughs> That's awesome. This uh, little scene right here is amazing. So yeah, we have the council ring and then we also get Frodo's bedroom in this section as well. And also Alron's study. This is what that section looks like. So this is one third of the build. I love the tree here. Like there's just so much great part usage, even this tree up here. 
This is gonna be a spectacular build. This is the second section right here. It's an elven tower. It features five of the elven statues of the unnamed famous warriors from the past. In this image here, it doesn't have the top of the tower, but oh man, I love that roof. That's gonna be so tricky to get all of those pieces perfectly straight though. <laughs> it's gonna be something you're gonna have to fuss over quite a bit. But this is the top of the tower right here. It's got like the sand green accents and some great looking architecture there. Lots of uh, snot work, obviously that studs not on top bricks to make it look the way it does. The third section is gonna be right here. It's got a really nice gazebo, the river on the opposite side of that gazebo, and also a bridge. And in the bottom part of that section there, there's actually like a forge. You can see the anvil and the fire right behind there where those two elves are. And then there's like a stock of weapons underneath as well. Yeah, right back here, you can see the armory. Look at how many weapons are in there. That's actually crazy, wow, that's awesome. But yeah, it is an open back. There you go, you can see there's lots of different sticker elements. I like this one here on the far right with Sauron. Oh, that's that iconic battle from the uh, first movie. That's awesome, nice. Here's a better angle of that forge and anvil right there. And then the part usage is pretty neat here with the river and that nice curved bridge and then the gazebo that sits on top. So all three of those sections come together to create something pretty awesome here. There's Rivendell looking amazing. So it's got a really nice looking front and also an open back so you can access all of the details. I like this concept, having the open back doesn't really bother me in this regard because the front looks so good. And then you can access some of the detail in here as well, right? I could see some people buying two of these and supersizing uh, the Rivendell, that would actually be really neat. And there's so many more details that we're not seeing here in these images. Like I've got a bunch of high res images that you know go over the different scenes and showcase how the different minifigures can actually interact with this amazing set. I'm really excited about building this. The pictures of it just don't really do it justice. Well, I guess they do do it justice because it looks really good. But the size of it, for example, you can see it on this table here. Like it's actually really big. It takes up this entire cabinet and that's a decent sized cabinet. You know, it measures uh, 15 inches or 39 centimeters high, 29.5 inches or 75 centimeters wide, 19.5 inches or 50 centimeters deep. So it is quite large. It looks really elegant. It's got the elvish vibe to it, doesn't it? Oh man, that is so awesome. I'm actually pretty hyped on this set. I don't think the price is like overly bad. It's 500 US dollars, but you get all of those minifigures. It's got a massive piece count and the Lord of the Rings licensing behind it as well. There's just so much more to this set. Like the detail is unprecedented. This is amazing. If you're a Lego system builder like myself and you like these small little details and building techniques and the little hidden Easter eggs and details, this is going to be the set to buy like this is going to be awesome i am so excited for some of the new lord of the rings stuff coming out here in 2023 it is going to be amazing and this is a great way to kick it off i guess the brickheads technically kicked it off but this is the first major lord of the rings set that we've gotten in so long so there we go lego officially revealed rivendell from lord of the rings what do you think pretty awesome set hey Wow, I'm blown away. I'm so excited that they have this license back in the product lineup. So amazing. I can't wait to see what else they come out with here in 2022. So awesome. I love Lord of the Rings, right? It's so cool. So my official review of this and build will actually come out on February 22nd. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So between now and February 22nd, I'll be building this thing. And I can't wait to share my experience and my thoughts on it. Amazing. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.